Hey guys, it's Christina Marie, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the MacBook Pro um, and go through an overview of the different MacBooks because if you're new to Mac like me, it's super confusing and it can be difficult to know which Mac computer to get or even to get if you should get one. So let's get started. This is the MacBook Pro. I got the 16 inch. If you are debating between a 16 inch or a 14 inch, it really depends on what you want. I personally like a bigger screen and the 16 inch apparently, this is the non tacky girl talking, um, cools down or doesn't get as hot. So 16 inch was the way to go. I wanted a laptop that was portable, but I'm not carrying it to and from school every day. So 16 inch works for me. And if you're deciding which color to get of the MacBook Pro, I personally got the lighter silver versus the dark silver because I heard it is less likely to smudge and show um, scratches. So that's why I chose the MacBook Pro 16 inch. It is, I have my specs, um, the RAM is 16 gigabytes versus 32. So if you want to pay a whole lot more money, like a thousand dollars more, you can get the M1 Max, which has twice as much RAM. Um, but you really only need that if you're like seriously editing multiple videos while doing other work or doing 3D stuff, which I'm not. So, um, not worth the extra thousand dollars and i did pay a little bit extra to get 1000 gigabits of storage because i wanted to hold all of my youtube videos okay this is the unboxing of the macbook pro 16 inch laptop and just to make this video more fun i'm gonna put on this funny little thing on my head that way you can be like watch the girl with that funny headpiece that's meant for a troll to see the MacBook Pro 16 unboxing. Okay, this is what it looks like. It is, um, it's a hefty laptop. It's not lightweight. As I mentioned, I did get the 16 inch, so it is pretty big and ta-da, this is, did this just make a noise? My laptop just talked to me. And it already lit up, I think. Um, so let's take a look at what it looks like. Ta-da. Yes, it instantly said you opened me. I'm going to get started. Wow. Hello. That's fancy. <laughs> Having been a PC girl my entire life, this is actually my first Mac laptop ever. If you are deciding between a PC and a Mac, I'll tell you, I did so, so, so much research. Um, a lot of people that you said that used to swear by Windows and PC said that they um, got a Mac and once you get a Mac, you never go back because it's so fast. So um, I don't know how to get started. I'm just gonna walk you through the setup as part of this unboxing of the MacBook Pro 16 inch laptop. English is the main language. Oh. Press the return key. Return key, English. I can choose English UK, English Australia, or English India. I'm gonna choose just normal English, and I'm gonna walk you guys through like how to set this up because that way you'll feel smart because you'll be like, if that girl could do it, I can do a MacBook Pro setup. Um, okay, so it's thinking, and then let's see what it comes with. Um, this power cord, uh, we'll see. Select your region or country. Okay, I'm in the United States, so I'm going to click return. Nope, that didn't work. Click continue. Ta-da, okay. Now it says accessibility features adopt your Mac to your individual needs. You can turn them on now to help you finish setting it up. Um, vision, motor, hearing, or cognitive. 
I personally don't think I need any of those things. So I'm just going to say not now. And then it's going to prompt you to select your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to scroll down. I don't see mine. Hmm. Um, so if this happens to you, I see a lot of network names. None of them are my personal network. So I'm going to click on other network options. And then it says, how do you connect? I'm going to say Wi-Fi network and say continue. Um, same thing. That is so weird. Now I'm embarrassed because none of these are my network names. I know my network name and this is definitely not it. That's not a good start, Mac. Other network programs. Huh, that's so sad. I'm just gonna click continue and hope it's okay. No, I don't know. I guess continue. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is how I said um, I'm a Mac, new MacBook user to have the scroll option appear on PCs. You see the scrolling icon to the right on this one. Um, how do I make a scroll? It popped up for a second. Shoot. You know? I don't know. I don't know. But you know what I'm gonna do? I have a mouse and I'm gonna set it up because if you are like me, maybe you need a mouse to use your laptop because you're not good with a touchpad. So I will include a link to this adapter. I'm literally gonna walk you through this whole setup of this Mac computer. Um, so I got a triple display docking station from Best Buy. I will include a link to buy this exact same laptop and this docking station below. Both are from Best Buy. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set up your laptop. So let's go ahead and plug this in next because obviously I, I need a mouse to scroll because I'm clueless and this might be exactly what I need to plug my normal mouse into because I'm addicted to a mouse into my laptop because Mac requires its own stuff. Okay, here's my docking station thing and It must plug in to my Mac. Okay, I do not read instructions, so I'm just gonna find a hole that fits into it. Okay, so now I have my docking station, and now I have all of these wonderful plugins for everything that I need, HDMI, two of them, which is key, and my mouse. And then I'm going to stick it in. Okay. And I will include an exact link to this Logitech mouse. And I have three of these things. So stick that in there. Hope that works. Okay. Now I can see my scrolling thing on the side. And now I can easily choose my Wi-Fi network, which happens to be the last. And I'm gonna type in my password. Which I hope works. I entered the wrong password at first. And now it's syncing. 
Okay, so while it's thinking, what are some more things to talk about? Um, I will include a link below that walks through a really, really good video of Mac versus Windows like desktops. It's a really, really good LinkedIn video and I watched it and it shows how the two systems are actually more similar than you may think. Um, what else to talk about? I personally like the 16 inch of the MacBook Pro more because I want a big screen. I think the 14 inch is just kind of small. Um, the Max is super duper fast. It's as fast as a desktop computer, if not faster, but it's not worth the extra $1,000 in my opinion. And I also considered getting a gaming laptop instead of a Mac. I ended up going with a Mac because um, people just said they love Mac more than gaming laptops. And unless you're actually playing video games, the Mac is better. I also wanted to get their video editing software and just be cool and hip. Okay, so now it says data and privacy. This icon appears when an Apple feature asks you to use your personal information. I'm just gonna say continue migration assistant okay so this i know i want to do because i watched a youtube video that talked about um pcs versus macs and so yes i do want to transfer my information from a windows pc so i'm going to click that button and click continue okay now it says connect ac power your Mac is running on battery power. It is strongly recommend that you connect your Mac to an AC power before migrating. So I guess I gotta plug in my laptop. Hmm. Okay, so let's continue this unboxing of the Mac 16 Pro um, instructions. I really hate instructions. But they're not that bad, actually. It's just simple. It tells me that my power button is right here, um, top right-hand side. Okay. It tells me that I have ports on the side. I have a MagSafe 3, a Thunderbolt, and a headphone jack, which is right here. And then on this other side, I have a Thunderbolt USB-C cord, an HDMI, and a card slot. It's telling me that at the top, I have my camera right here, and my control center is up here, which has the battery, Wi-Fi, and time, and the menu bar, which won't show up first. Okay, so that's uh, those instructions. Oh. Those are literally all the instructions that Apple gives you in this unboxing. Okay. Um, well, so much for me not wanting to read instructions. Thanks, Apple. You didn't even give me instructions to read in this unboxing. Okay, so um, this must be the power cord. Um, I'm joking because I know this is the power cord, but I honestly don't know how to take the tape off. There we go. You peel it off. I told you I was gonna be learning this with you guys. I don't know about Max. I'm not tech savvy, but I did do my research before buying this laptop. Um, okay, so I feel like this should open up. Like it's missing something, like a cord. Ah, this is the cord, okay, so. I'm going to take the cord out of here and stick it in. Okay. Again, like I said, I'm not tech savvy. Most of my YouTube videos are about um, makeup, clothing, Halloween costumes, but I also sometimes do actual other things too. So I wanted to show you this Mac. Book Pro. Okay, so this must be the power cord. It is pretty, I would say this is pretty long. Okay, so this is my charging station and it feels like very, it feels very hefty, I will say. Okay, so really there's only two ends. 
to set up this MacBook Pro 16 inch, uh, you just stick it in, boom. And this sucker has to go somewhere. So looking here, it goes right here where it fits. And I'm going to have, there's a dot on both sides, but it just, it's a magnet, it goes in. And now I'm going to stretch my cord. If I can make it fit, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to move my laptop just an inch. And then we'll continue on in this unboxing video with the MacBook Pro 16 inch. Boom, okay. Move this a little bit, sorry guys. Okay, so then what's next? Okay, let's continue with this unboxing. Again, we have the mouse. I have my docking station, which I can then connect to all of my monitors over there. And I'm gonna transfer information. Okay, so it says select a Windows PC to transfer its information to this Mac. It says looking for resources. Okay, so right now I actually don't have my other laptop turned on. So I'm gonna pause my video really quickly turn on my other laptop and walk you through how to transfer information from a Mac, from a PC to the MacBook Pro. Um, tip, I knew I was gonna be doing this, so I did clean up my, def my laptop, Windows laptop beforehand. So I deleted all of my junk files and I moved most of my files to Google Drive. The reason I did that is I heard cloud plays nicely with other Mac computers, but I do use a PC, honestly, for work. So I wanted to be able to have the ability to access my personal files at work should I need to. Um, so I would recommend go ahead and clean up your laptop computer, load things to Google Drive, and then do this transfer. So let me pause this video and then I'll show you how to transfer your documents. Okay, so I'll be honest, I tried to transfer information from my PC to my Mac and I couldn't get it to work. To be honest, I think it's because I was using a work laptop and it might not transfer everything, probably because of some weird wire firewall thing. So I'm not gonna worry about it, but if you do have another Windows that's your own personal computer, it seems like it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna continue on with the setup and not worry about it. Okay, so then it asks to sign in with your Apple ID. I personally don't have an Apple ID and I should probably create one, but I'm not sure yet whether I want it. Um, so I'm just gonna say set up later. You don't have to do everything at once. Um, yeah, I do wanna skip it. Okay, I'm gonna skip it. And then I'm gonna click agree to the terms and conditions, click agree and continue. Create a computer account. Fill out the information to create your computer account. Okay, so I'm going to give my computer a name. It says full name. I don't give anybody my full name, so I'm just gonna give them my first name. Account name. This will be the name of your home folder. Um, I guess I'll just default to what it suggested. And then I'm gonna click continue. Nope, they want me to enter a password. Bummer, I hate passwords. Don't give me another password, but I'll use the same password that I used. Um, okay, continue. Okay creating an account. Now I'm gonna sit tight. It is still thinking. Let's hope it's done thinking soon. Maybe it takes a lot of work. It had a picture, oh, I wanna edit it. There's an option to edit your photo. 
mine defaulted to a guitar. Oh, it disappeared. Um, enable location services. Um, I honestly don't like people knowing where I'm located, so I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to click continue and I'm going to say don't use. Um, select your time zone. Okay, I do want a time zone to be correct. So I'm going to choose the city. I can type in my actual city versus the time zone, which is kind of cool. Okay, I chose my city. And again, I'm using my mouse and I'm gonna click continue. Do I wanna share analytics with Mac? No, I never wanna share analytics. So uncheck that box and click continue. Screen time. Do I want insights about your screen time? No. So I'm just gonna click set up later. I don't really care about managing any of that stuff. So I'm gonna just say set up later. Do I wanna enable ask Siri? Um, No, I don't wanna enable her. So I'm gonna uncheck that box and click continue. It's thinking, okay, touch ID. Use your fingerprint to unlock Mac and make purchases with Apple Pay. Um, I honestly don't wanna set up touch ID because I don't know if I die and want other people to be able to log into my laptop like my mom or my sister. So I'm gonna click set up touch ID later. Are you sure you don't want to set up Touch ID now? Um, Touch ID helps to keep your Mac secure. Yeah, I don't want it, so I'm gonna click continue. Okay, choose your look. Light, auto, or dark? I'll stick with light and click continue. Okay. Keyboard setup assistant. Your Logitech device cannot be a identified and will not be usable until it is identified. Huh. Okay, so I guess I go to identify it. If your keyboard is working properly and you have an additional USB input device connected to your computer that is not a keyboard, you may quit this application. Um, I do want to set up my keyboard, so I'm going to go grab it and set it up because I like a keyboard. So let's do that. Okay. So this is just um, a cheap keyboard, but I wanna show you guys how to set it up. So here it is. Again, I bought the docking station, which is totally worth it. And I'm gonna stick it in right here, USB 3. Okay, boom. Okay, done. And now that my keyboard's set up, sorry, this is not the best place, I'm gonna click Continue. Identifying your keyboard. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard. Okay, shift key. The key to the right is number Z. Okay. Identifying your keyboard. Press the key immediately to the left of the shift key. Um, I don't have anything to the left of the shift key. Press the key immediately to the left of the shift key on the right side of the keyboard. I don't have, oh, this shift key. I have two shift keys. Okay, and then the left is the question mark or slash symbol. Okay, I'm gonna press it. All right, your keyboard has been identified. It is the um, standard 101 key keyboard. Okay, so I'm gonna click done. Okay, and now I think I'm completely set up. So um, I have everything set up with my new MacBook Pro 16. I have everything down below, and I think I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll. I am going to buy a better keyboard, um, but I think this is enough to get started as mentioned. I highly recommend the 16 inch MacBook Pro as part of this unboxing. I have a simple Logitech mouse and I have the docking station, which you must have 
And that's what you need to set up the basic MacBook Pro 16 inch. So today we walked through the unboxing of it. I explained why I bought the 16 inch Pro versus the Max M1. It's because I don't think it's worth the extra thousand dollars. I got the 16 inch versus the 14 inch because I wanted a big screen and you definitely want a docking station so that you can hook up multiple monitors. And I will include a link below that's a really helpful YouTube video that explains PC versus Mac to get you started. Um, also to buy the exact right equipment, I will include links below to this exact um, laptop, docking station, mouse, and a good keyboard. Um, I will say I would recommend you just go ahead and buy the laptop online from Best Buy. I actually had to go into the store. I wanted it in light silver and they didn't have it in silver so they had to ship it to me anyway um, via FedEx. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you have any questions about Mac computers or system setup stuff, leave a question below. Like I said, I'm not a tech person, but I will answer your questions in plain human language to help you decide which kind of equipment or laptop is best for you. I did lots of research. Thanks guys.